Writers, can I just say how impressed I am with all of your hard work? I have gotten a lot of letters from your parents to show me everything that you've been working on, and I am blown away by all that you can do, even outside of the classroom. I wonder if you remember the word ambition, ambitious, from the beginning of the year. It was one of the words we talked about, and then I handed out little ambitious badges. And you reminded me of that because doing writer's workshop at home is a big, big job. It's like setting a huge goal for yourself. And to see so many of you working hard to do that, you're extremely ambitious. And I'm so proud of you, and I wish I could give you all badges. I got another letter, and there's a matching poster to go with it. My printer printed it a little bit dark, but these were made by Waylon. Waylon took a problem that I'm sure many of us care about right now. It's about the quarantine and not being able to see your friends. So he wrote, Dear Governor, I would like this quarantine to be over! Exclamation mark. He's like excited about it. I want it to be over because I want to see my friends. Another exclamation mark. We will wear masks and gloves. Another exclamation mark. We will stay six feet apart. Another exclamation mark. I think this will work, period. Sincerely, Waylon. Now, Waylon, I don't know how you knew this, but today I wanted to talk a lot about punctuation because picking different types of punctuation can have a big effect on how our letter is read. So um, remember, we are writing all of these things because somebody else is going to read them. So we can use punctuation to let the writer, I mean, let the reader know really how we're feeling about things. And then they will probably feel more strongly about it too, or understand that we did. So Waylon, I think it was super smart of you to use all those exclamation marks. When the governor reads that, he's going to be like, wow, this kid really cares. It makes me feel like I really need to fix this problem. Some of you have read this book, The Drip, and I just want to show you some punctuation in here too. Um, like, let's pretend I read it without using the punctuation. Get up, get up, Pop, said Nana. We have a drip, drip, drip. Is that exciting to listen to? No, and it's not exciting way to be the reader. It says, get up, get up, Pop, said Nana. We have a drip, 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 drip. I can be a little bit more excited when I read it because I see those exclamation marks. So today, I want us to think really carefully about the types of punctuation we have chosen. For mostly all of your sentences, it's either going to be a period or an exclamation mark. We won't really be using question marks because I don't think many of us are asking questions in our writing. Asking a question means that you want the reader to respond. Like, do you like apples? That would get a question mark because we're asking, we're waiting for them to say yes or no. In most of these writings, I don't think we're doing that. We're mostly just telling something. So I'm going to look back at one of my writings and see if I want to change any punctuation. Dear Miss Harris, kids are not sharing the donkeys at recess. I already did exclamation mark there because that's like a problem I really feel strongly about. We should get more, please. I have another exclamation mark. It will make kids happy and kids won't fight. Thank you, Miss Werner. Now I'm going to change the um, punctuation. It will make kids happy to an exclamation mark because I get very excited when I see a bunch of happy kids, and I think Miss Harris would too. It will make kids happy, and kids won't fight. Thank you, Miss Werner. Okay, I'm going to check another one. This is what I encourage you to do today. Go back and look at your punctuation on the ones that you've written. See if you want to make any changes. Dear adults, please 
wear a mask. If you go to the store, wear a mask. I'm going to change that to an exclamation mark too because if people don't wear masks right now, this quarantine will keep going and going and going. So if you go to the store, wear a mask or else you could get sick. A lot of um, exclamation marks just like Waylon did in his. You might end up having a lot of exclamation marks because these, I asked you to pick a problem that you really care about. So you probably feel like really strongly about it. So I encourage you today to not only look through the work that you've already written, but from now on, any writing that you do, really think about what kind of punctuation do you want to use. I'll show you one more time what they look like. And I drew like a writing line at the bottom just to remind you that the period like sits actually on the line or very close to it. So this we know is a period. That's when you're more calm and you're just telling something. And then what is this one? Remember? Exclamation mark. It's a tricky word. Exclamation mark. And that's for when you're excited or when you feel very strongly about something. Okay, so that's our job for today. We're kind of starting to revise our work and really be thinking carefully about the types of punctuation that we use. And pretty soon I'm gonna ask you to pick one and we will fancy it all up and then maybe I'll figure out a way for us to um, share them with the rest of the class. Okay, have a great time today.